Hello. Hello, my name is Dirk. I work for Siemens Factory Automation and I deal with the simulation of machines. You are programming semantic controllers and want to start with virtual commissioning. In this Getting Started video, we want to have a look at what you have to do for that. We assume that you have already written a finished machine software into a portal and you want to simulate the machine together with this software. For this, we need Simatic S7 PSC Zim Advanced to simulate the controller and Zimit to simulate the machine behavior in addition to TIA Parallel. I download PSC Zim Advanced from Siemens. You can find the link in the video description. And I do the same with Zimit SP. That takes some time. I'll see you in a minute when the installation is done. Here we are again. PLC Zim Advanced and Zimit are installed. Now there is one setting missing. In order for Zimit to access the IA portal to create the PLC interface in the simulation, the current Windows user must be configured as a TIA Openness user. For this I open the Computer Administration, Local Users and Groups and I add myself as TIA Openness user. You can also find the link to this procedure in the video description. Now everything is ready. I start Simit Demo. In Simit Demo, I can only implement very small simulation projects and the simulation duration is limited to 45 minutes. But this is enough for the first steps. This is how Simit looks like. We start by creating a new project. And we first connect to the machine software by creating a new coupling, a PLC ZIM Advanced coupling. Here we select the existing TIA portal project. We import the interface to the controller. I'll take a look inside the coupling. Here is a note that I am in the demo version. And here we see that the interface from the controller to the machine has been transferred to Simit. In our case, that's just a few input and output bits. Now the machine behavior is simulated in Simit. In this very simple application, a container is moved forward on a conveyor belt until it reaches the first position sensor. There, the container is filled until another sensor reports to the signal full. Then the container moves on to a second position sensor and there the container is heated for two seconds. Then the conveyor belt continues until a new container arrives at the first sensor. This system is completely contrived and probably pointless, but we can see well from it how it works. Back in Simit, we model the machine behavior in a diagram. To do this, we drag graphic elements onto the diagram and configure them accordingly. Next, the machine behavior is modeled. The behavior of the container is modeled by a ramp block and for the two position sensors I use an interval block. The ramp block outputs a position from 0 to 100. The first sensor should be switched from 20 to 30 and the second from 70 to 80. At the filling station, a sensor reports when the container is full. I represent this by a simple time delay, 2 seconds. Now I connect the behavior model with the controller's interface. I find the input and output signals from and to the controller under the Signals tab. By the way, I have to keep the Shift key pressed here. 
the sensor signal to the interval block the fill signal and the filled signal to the delay block. When the container arrives at the end, a new container should appear in the front. Therefore, I connect the end switch for the upper limit of the ramp lock with the set to zero signal of the ramp lock. Now only the switch for switching the machine on and off is missing. I create it by simply dragging and dropping the signal onto the diagram. Now I want to animate the graphical representation a bit. At the container, I insert a motion animation. And connect it with a signal from the ramp lock. The material should only be visible when the signal for filling comes from the PLC. and the heating symbol should only be visible when the heating is switched on. Now we have finished modeling and we can start and test the simulation. For this we click on play. Here is a note concerning the demo version. Now a virtual controller starts in the background, but it has no program at the moment, like a real controller that you take out of the box. Next we want to load the controller with TIA portal. Before we do that, we have to allow the simulation with PLCSM Advanced in the project properties. We load the controller. and TIA Portal finds PCSM Advanced as a 7500 CPU. Let's see if I did everything right. Switch on. And the container drives to the first position. Is filled. And continues to the second station is heated and at the end a new container appears and the process starts all over again. That was our first simulation solution. Of course, that was a very small application. Depending on the challenge, we can always rely on another solution or extend the solution. For example, we can have large parts of the SIMIT model generated based on the TIA portal project or implement a simulation model based on CAD data. We also have cool webinars, where we look deeper into the topic of simulation. I put the link in the video description. I hope you liked it. Feel free to leave a like. Did you miss anything? Or do you have wishes, which videos you would like to see? Or do you want to start your own virtual commissioning and still have questions or need support? Please get in touch with us, either via LinkedIn or via your Siemens contact person. See you then.